Trading online in general can be risky, but it can also be super rewarding. Hey guys, it's Phil back with another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it can be to get the dream villagers that you really want on your island, and we're getting started right now. If you're a big Animal Crossing fan and want to stay up to date on all the news, tips, tricks, and all other Animal Crossing related content, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of great content that you'd like to watch. Besides that, it's free. And then the next day, she was there, I was there, and we were there. I've tried searching islands for villagers with Nook Mall tickets, which is really fun. And I've also tried waiting for villagers to show up at my campsite. But as you can imagine, the game's mechanics are a little difficult to work around, which I've covered everything you need to know about the campsite mechanics in the video here. But regardless, we are all looking for an easy way to fill our islands with the villagers that we've all dreamed about. So I started searching for answers, and I found a way to do it. You can go online and buy, sell, or trade for villagers. So for the purposes of this video, I'm giving Nookas on a try. I wanted to show you the experience and show you how to do it. So let me show you how I was able to get one of my dream characters within about 20 minutes. So the first step was to set up my account on nookazon.com and get their Discord channel added to my Discord app. Let's quickly walk through that at a high level. You're going to set up your account on nookazon.com and then you're going to click the little link at the bottom of their website to automatically add their Discord server to your Discord app. And then once you're there, you'll need to authenticate with them by clicking the little chat mark icon in the chat and give it a few minutes to allow things to sync up. Now, go back to nookazon.com and find the villager that you want. And then you'll see a ton of offers for various people wanting to trade for the villager with many different types of trade requests. For me, I had the spare Nookmaw tickets and bells, so I went for people that were trying to negotiate for that. I made an offer of 20 Nookmaw tickets and the offer was immediately declined. I put in another offer of 30 Nook Mall tickets, and then the offer just kind of sat there. So I'm not sure if the person actually saw the second offer come through or what. But while I was waiting, I went over to the Discord server to have a look around. I started looking around and I found this channel inside the server called Villager Trade. So I started browsing through and I found someone there that was also wanting to trade Audi for some Nook Mall tickets. So I cancelled my request on the website and then went over to the Discord and started a private conversation with this person. I didn't have to add them as a friend or anything, but I just clicked on their name and started the conversation. This person was awesome, by the way. She was really easy to work with and made this entire experience something that I'd really recommend to others. So after we talked and negotiated the cost, I ran over to her island and recruited the villager from her home. But moving on, having an open house plot was a required step before I went to the person's island. Otherwise, the villager wouldn't even give the conversation option to move to my island. So if you're going to do this process, just make sure you do that. I've got another video coming soon, and I'll put a link in the description when I get that uploaded, of the techniques that I use to kick my villagers out. As a matter of fact, I've got an entire playlist dedicated to kicking villagers out, so feel free to check out that playlist if you need help there. And just a really quick uh, kind of word of caution, be careful when you're trading online with anyone. I really lucked out with this person. But we did set up an agreement to give some of the payment when I got to the island and then the other half of the payment after I recruited the villager. That way we were both kind of protected from stealing from each other. So jumping back to the recruiting process, I had to talk to the villager a couple of times to invite them to my island. But once I had the conversation, I left the house, left the island, and went back home. Once I got back home, I ran over to the open house plot. It already had a sold sign saying that Audie was moving in. And then the next day, she was there, I was there, and we were there. Go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know how much you've paid for your dream villager. I'd like to see who's paid the most. So if you're wanting to trade villager for villager, it's probably going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of coordination between you and the other person. It's extremely likely that you won't be able to swap villager for villager at the exact same time because you both will have to have an open house plot and you both will have to have the villager in boxes, which again is extremely unlikely to have done that at the same time. So as you can imagine, you'll have to work with the other person and take it one step at a time. Step number one, 
So say that you're going first, you'll get your villager in boxes and the other person will get an open house plot. Step number two, they'll come over to your island and recruit the villager that's leaving that same day. Now timing here is crucial because the villager will be gone from your island the next day and for the other person the game will likely give them a random villager in their open house plot if they wait a day. And then step number three, after you have formally kicked out your villager, you'll get an open house plot, travel to your friend's island, and then recruit the villager. So as you can see, it's not really a villager for villager swap, more so a coordinated effort between the two sides. Take a look at one of my other Animal Crossing how-to videos that are on the screen right now. And also don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe.